Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Adobe updated just about every app they have in the Creative Cloud. Amongst those apps are Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. Yesterday, I did a video talking about some of the new features found in the latest version of Lightroom Classic. And by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Now, those of you not familiar with Photoshop, uh, Photoshop has a filter in it called Camera Raw. Camera Raw is really the develop module of Lightroom. It's cosmetically a bit different, but it really is the develop module and it uses the same processing engine as Lightroom Classic. And when you do editing in one, it's recognized in the other. Now, historically, whenever updates are done to Lightroom Classic, those updates are also in Camera Raw. Well, that's true uh, for this update as well, but, and this is unusual, Camera Raw has an additional feature that Lightroom Classic doesn't have. And in today's video, I'm going to show you that additional feature. As you can see, I have an image opened up into Photoshop. And to get to Camera Raw, you would go up to Filter, and then down to Camera Raw Filter. And I mentioned that this is the develop module in Lightroom. It's just cosmetically different. Now, I'm going to close down the basic tab right here. And we're going to go to masking. And it has all that new masking that Lightroom Classic has. That's the background selection, the person selection, and the object selection. All that is here. But what they also have now is the ability to use the tone curve when you make a selection, any selection. For this image, I'll just select the background because it's easy and obvious. And you'll notice that when I do that, this all opens up and this is where I could do my adjustments on the background, like, you know, exposure, just like, just like Lightroom. But you'll also notice that curve is opened up as well. And the tone curve, I could do adjustments as well. And this tone curve will be available in any mask you apply. You'll be able to use the tone curve. So this is a very short video, just kind of showing you that this additional feature that is in Camera Raw. Now again, if you haven't seen the video I did talking about some of the new features in Lightroom Classic, I'll have that linked in the description below this video. I do plan on, in the next day or two, doing a video talking about the new features found in Photoshop, Photoshop 24. So you can look for that in the near future, and I'll probably in that video just mention this tone curve feature that's now in masking in Camera Raw. But I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was kind of interesting that they would add this tone curve to Camera Raw, but not to Lightroom Classic. I anticipate that it will be in Lightroom Classic someday soon in a future update. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.